Hello and welcome to this series of short tutorials for Hawaii Kia 4 in which we'll be taking you through the basics of using all the different control options. So here's Rob to show you how to use the primary and secondary controls to pull a basic key. Now I've got a clip from the open source movie Tears of Steel on my timeline here and I'll just grab an instance of the Kia and drop that on. And you can see straight away that's given us a pretty good result. But there are a few issues here, we're getting some flickering in the light and if we just briefly disable the background you can see we haven't completely got rid of the green in this area so we haven't managed to clear the backing so it's completely transparent and the background is showing through. So what I'll do is I'll switch over to analysis view where the foreground is shown as orange where we've cleared the backing as black and partially transparent areas are this sort of purple colour. And you can see straight away that we've got some holes here, hole in the foreground that we need to fill and we've got some area of the backing that we need to clear. So what we're going to do is just jump over to our density control and start by increasing that. But what we've introduced in Hawaii Kia 4 is this level control which helps level out the screen and using that judiciously can help things. You can see we've got a bit of a hole here so we'll grab the foreground fill and increase that. Now one control you may or may not be familiar with in other keys is the bias control. It's called various things, but what it's doing is controlling the channel that green is compared to. So it's either red or blue with a green screen key. What we've got this configured to do is select the min channel when it's at one, so that could be red or blue, and the max channel when it's at zero. Now generally you're going to solidify the foreground by going more towards the max, in fact you can go further than zero. But let's just go to around about zero and that should solidify up some of these areas of the gun here. Now there's a bit of an interplay required so we'll just increase level and all the time you want to be maintaining a bit of hair detail and that transparency on the edge. And we've not done a bad job there, I think that's looking pretty good for a basic key. But of course the advantage of Hawaii Kia is that we offer you two Kias in one. So what I'm going to do is enable the secondary and we've got all the same controls in there and up comes this guide which is the area where the secondary key is being applied and you can see that, that quite clearly is not clearing at the moment. Now what I'm wanting to isolate here is the area of the gentleman's head and we've actually got some built-in tracking but I need to limit it to that area where his head is moving. The tracker will track the entire foreground, ignoring the backing area, and uh, pick the center of that area. So you really want to set the tracking area with these track area controls to the area you're wanting to isolate and the area that's uh, moving. So let's just scale down our key, and we've also got these offset controls, so we'll just offset that slightly bring it down. You can see if I turn off tracking that it'll center itself and I think that's probably pretty good for now and if we play that through you can see that the guide is moving with the talent's head. So if we look at that there's a little bit of area to clear there but I can actually pull a much more gentle key and again I'll just grab the level control to help clear some of that and maybe a little bit of density it doesn't look too bad and I'll just bump the foreground fill because I've introduced a couple of holes there. Now if I turn off secondary you can see that's a much harsher key and if we switch back to our main final key view and just zoom in on our head you can see by being able to pull a gentler key we've managed to maintain quite a bit more detail. And so that's the primary advantage of two keys in one. You can target an area where you're wanting to maintain detail and pull a gentle key and you can really crunch an area outside of that if need be, especially if you've got an uneven screen. Now one final thing I'll show you, we've got these tracking markers here, so if I just turn on the analysis view again, we've got a built-in outer mat which will take care of that. And if you switch to the outer mat view, you'll see the area that that is basically taking to a alpha value of zero. It's everything that's defined as red and you can adjust the in and out. But for this I think we've ended up with a pretty good result. Let's just play that through. You can see the real-time playback and I'm pretty happy with that. 